Alrighty, so we have some pretty exciting news coming out of Kennywood. It looks like the final teaser has been released. It looks like that they're signaling towards a possible announcement tomorrow or this week. I mean, it, it really looks like it could happen unless there's a whole nother round of teasers released. But I mean, these numbers have been throwing what seems like everyone off for quite some time now. I'm confused, like I'm beyond confused. Uh, it sounded like in our live stream yesterday that everyone was confused. Um, so I thought I'd try something new. You know that I'm doing control my video on Instagram where I let you guys kind of like control what I'm saying in my video or present a counter argument towards what I'm saying. And um, I put up a little poll today that uh, asked people what they honestly think is coming to Kennywood. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna read some of the um, quotes or opinions that people put down there that they think is coming. Cause you know what, there's nothing funner or more fun <laughs> to be correct than hearing other people's perspective. So let's get it right off to the start. So we just can't wait any longer. This is the main event of the evening. Introducing the ninth and final clue of Project 412. Now what comes next? Find out tomorrow morning. It's an Independence Day surprise. So it does sound like maybe the announcement isn't going to happen tomorrow, but there's something to follow. Um, a lot of people are speculating that the announcement will take place though, at some point this week or tomorrow even. And uh, I, it could go either way. I mean, uh, a reason I think the park might be rushing this teaser campaign and the announcement is we know Six Flags and Cedar Fair do their announcements in August and September, and maybe Kennywood, you know, it's a smaller park, but it looks like they're getting something epic, regardless of its size, wants to announce this sooner so it gets the limelight it deserves. Um, based off of the numbers i'm seeing the speculation the most well hid coaster of 2019 come on props to kennywood for keeping this under wraps um it seems like they really want to uh give this the uh, attention it deserves and announcing it earlier than august would be smart on the park um so let's go over it 197 three so this is my prediction 197 is the height of the coaster three is number of inversions 24 is capacity of the train 220 is either the drop, maybe intertwine those or in exchange those numbers, 220 and 197. 120 is, <laughs> this is where I get lost, something. 75 is maybe the speed. Um, nine is, <laughs> I'm confuzzled. Um, 50, uh, kerfuffled. And 4,000 4, is definitely the track length in my opinion, which is awesome. That's a decent sized coaster for Kennywood. Uh, but let's talk about this. So again, I'm going to be doing the interesting, um, like reading people's opinions and perspectives in just a bit. At the end of this video, I will read what people are commenting on my control my video post. So again, head on over to Instagram, comment on any post that I say control my video or any survey um, or poll in my Instagram story. I think this is a great idea. I want you guys more involved in my videos. I don't wanna just sit here and give you my perspective. I mean, as you can see with this campaign, I have no idea what's going on. So uh, bring you on in and help me out with this. All right, so back to Kennywood. I got off topic there. So Kennywood, it is a mystery coaster. It really is a mystery coaster. They have kept this thing so well Hidden. I mean, does anyone out there know what this coaster is? It sounds like no one has a single clue, which makes this project probably, in my opinion, and you know how much I'm favoritizing Canada's Wonderland's new coaster, I would actually call Kennywood's new coaster the most, like, what I look forward to in 2019. Like, I think this is the biggest thing for the coaster enthusiast community to come forward in a long time, like a smaller park with a really nice project coming, a bigger project. This is epic. It's been well kept. The teasing campaign is supreme. Like this is just awesome. Like I, the conversations I'm having with enthusiasts around North America online and in person at Canada's Wonderland, everyone's talking about this project. Like great job, Kennywood again. I couldn't hype you up anymore. Like you deserve every little bit of praise for this campaign and probably this coaster. I mean, I don't want to overhype this one, but it really sounds like this is going to be a winner and just great job. Um, definitely wanna hear from you guys down below. A, what do you think this coaster is gonna be? Um, do you think they're gonna announce it this week? And do you think that this is the like biggest, like what people are looking forward to in 2019? I mean, 
it really seems like this is starting to steal all the limelight. Anyways, let's get into control my videos. So control my videos, as I just said, you go to my Instagram. If you see a control my video post, comment down below what you want me to read. And if you see on my Instagram story, a poll, definitely participate in that. So I'm gonna read some of the comments. So we have from Mike's Coaster Adventures, RMC Woody. We have Seth underscore Walkzak. Hopefully I didn't pronounce that wrong. Sorry if I did. Gert Slauer Infinity Coaster. Um, we have Casual Coasters, Mac Hyper probably. Royals underscore Wesley underscore 25. Gert Slauer Infinity Coaster, similar to Gold Rush at Slagaran. Hopefully I'm not pronouncing these wrongs. Correct me down below if I do. I am so sorry. I'm doing this on the fly. I do all my videos live. Coaster underscore Rampage, Infinity Coaster. So I'm starting to see a theme here. Um, <laughs> Carson, <laughs> two, three, four, five, Vacoma SLC. Um, I think he was just being funny. Um, Adam underscore uh, Pace five, they're lost. Um, how are people making a bunch of predictions off of numbers? But that's just how it goes. Water Beast underscore 99, 75 miles per hour launched hyper Gert Slower Infinity. Coaster underscore clouds one. I'm going to say it's going to be a Mac Hyper built kind of like Top Thrill Dragster, but shorter with a complete layout. That would be crazy, but hey, everyone has their opinion. And then African Texan mock launch coaster question mark. Zock Burger 21 launched Pinfari Giga with inversions. <laughs> FG Photographs on Instagram. Glad to see you in there. I'm putting money on Mock Hyper. Coaster Labs, a 220 foot infinity coaster with 197 foot drop at 120 degrees makes sense because the hold section is quite tall. A 50 degree angle of ascent, nine inversions, 75 miles per hour, three records broken and 24 seater train. And it seems like he won over everyone in the comment section because everyone was going, wow, nice thinking dude. Um, and then, yeah, that, that's pretty much all I see on here. So thanks again for participating in my uh, my first Control My Video. There's gonna be lots, any video I do, I'm probably gonna put up a Control My Video because I want my videos um, to be all about you. I don't want you guys sitting here just listening to my perspective on a park that in a lot of cases I haven't visited yet. I'm gonna try and get out to a lot of American parks next year, um, but I think it's much more fun and the whole point of my channel is speculation and rumors. So bring on more people into the speculation and rumors. It provides a better discussion. So again, guys, go on down below, comment what you think this coaster is going to be. Are they going to announce it this week? And is this the best teasing campaign you've seen? I mean, that's including it being kept a secret. Again, thanks so much for watching my video, guys. Give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video. Um, thanks again, guys. Have a good one. Bye.